In this example, we're going to create an array of strings. So you should know that arrays are not just limited to primitive data types such as int. And you can also create arrays of strings. And each element of the array is a string object and therefore you can call any of the string methods on each of those array elements if it's a string. And note that arrays have a public final field called length which tells you the size of the array. And strings have a method called length which tells you the size of the strings. So let's not confuse the length public field for arrays with the length method for strings. And we're going to see an example of a string array and I'll show you both uses of length, the method and the field. Let's create an array of strings like this. String, and don't forget the square bracket, and we'll call it colors, the name of our array, and assign it to red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So let's print out one element of that array with system.out.println colors at index 0. That should give you the very first element. Run the program and we get red. And notice that this thing right here is one element of the array at index 0. So red is 0, orange is 1, yellow is 2, green is 3, and so on. So if you remember in a previous video, colors.length, that gives you the size of the array. If I print this out, you get six. That tells you there are six elements of the array. So the length or size of the array. However, watch this. Colors at index zero dot length with the parentheses is a string method that we're calling on this string literal red. So this is going to give you the length of the string red. If I run that program we get three. So just understand the differences between dot length which is a public field that belongs to arrays and it tells you the size of the array whereas dot length with the parentheses is a string method that tells you the size of that one string in the method. So that's pretty much it. You can create string arrays fairly easily just like you did with arrays of primitive data types. Just remember that any element of a string array is, is an object and that object which is a string has methods on it like colors.length and let's do one more stone.out.println colors at index 3 which is green I believe dot 2 uppercase and that should just print out green in all uppercase letters on the screen and there it is so thanks for watching.